How do you think the king is feeling this morning? Because this is a moment he's waited for his entire life, isn't it? I think I probably, like any normal person, a mixture of nerves, apprehension, and looking forward to it. Mm. They are now obviously riding to go and meet their carriage, which they will come in in the grand procession later to go to the Abbey. Yeah, they've, they've got, got just they've got, over an hour. Haven't yeah, they? Quick time for a quick gin and tonic, perhaps. I think a bit early for a quick <laughs> oh, gin and tonic. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you might need to come. Maybe a cuppa. I see, a cuppa. A cuppa might be the answer. I've, won I've wondered in, in that, I mean, it's because people say, well, he's prepared for it all his life. You know, yes. you know, he's always known it was going to happen at yes. some point. But doesn't that almost make it more nerve-wracking. Of course it makes it more nerve-wracking and you can tell he's thought about it. I mean, watching the people go in, there are so many people who are here because they've done good works, mm. because they've helped their communities, then of course there are famous people we've seen, then there are heads of state, then there are crowned heads of Europe and, and the world actually. Mm. And there's the chief As rabbi the chief coming rabbi, in. Yes, so they're, they're also sharing this out. He's always said he wants to be defender of faiths mm. and the Imam, um, Chief Imam of Britain are coming, all sorts of other things. He's had to walk today because it's Saturday, it's uh, Shabbat, and so he's had to walk to get here. And they very sweetly put him up, I think, in the Speaker's house. Oh, so he yes. didn't have to walk too far.